ratchet part of the show. Just I brought all that up to say, like, we really have to be careful about who we're laying down with because um, October 2020, statistically. statistically, women who are pregnant or who have recently given birth are more likely to be murdered than die from complications with the pregnancy. And it's mostly always by their intimate spouse. Right. I watched a few documentaries where other women have killed women to get the baby. The baby, right. But the majority of times, women who are pregnant, when they're pregnant... You're very vulnerable. You're more likely risk. to be killed by your partner. I do want to say, and I lived this. I don't, obviously, I wasn't killed. But... <laughs> I live, it's not, it's not a joke, but like, no, for real, I live this. I had two, in my 20s, I had two girlfriends. Um, pregnant at different spectrums, at different ends, ends, but like, one, she had been dating a guy for a while, dating him. Like, she wasn't the side shit, she wasn't, like, that was her fucking boyfriend. And she found out he was, she was pregnant, and he told her, and he said, go hang that bitch on a tree. He said, I don't want no baby. And she called me crying, and she called me, and she told me everything that he said. Like, I, she said, but I don't believe in abortion. I don't want to have an abortion, Michelle. Like, I said, listen, you do what's best for you. You the only person, you the only person that has to deal with, with abortion, what comes with the, uh, the mental and emotional. That after an abortion, I said, you got your mind. I said, you're, you strong, you take, you took care of, because she had other kids, but that wasn't from him. I said, you've been able to take care of them kids. Do what's right for you. I'm not telling you to have a baby. Or don't I'm not telling baby. you not to have a baby, because everybody knows I'm pro-choice. You you got to make that decision. You got to make that decision. I don't want no woman. I never tell nobody. I don't, people be thinking, oh, because I'm spiritual, I'm going to tell you to have a baby. No, the fuck, fuck I'm no. not. Fuck no. Because I don't want you fucking having no baby, just treat the baby like shit when it right. gets Do. It's a lot of children that are in diapers, that right. are being abused and being right. murdered. I will never tell. I'm pro-choice. So I told her, either or another friend who was fucking a married man and ended up getting pregnant. I had to watch her get text messages, phone calls with him telling her if she keeps that baby. He's going to fucking kill her. He's going to fucking kill her. He's going to fucking kill her. But she had an abortion. After she had her first ultrasound, she the 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 mental and emotional toll that it took on her. Like I literally had to watch my friend have an ultrasound in a photo album book. I literally every year had to hear her talk about how old her baby would, would have, have been. been. Like having these are decisions that Shouldn't be taken lightly. Exactly. They should not be taken lightly. I think that we should be more cognizant as a people on who we lay with. Period. There have to, it like, doesn't it, it it does you should be more cognizant of who you lay with. Especially black women. Black women face substantially higher risk for being killed than white or Hispanic women. When it comes to being murdered by their, spouse, by their spouses, black women are the highest. And that's a statistic that I didn't know. Like I said to you before you came on, like I knew that black women die disproportionately high during childbirth and after childbirth due to complications and not being listened to. But I didn't realize how high the statistics were for being murdered by a spouse. Right. And that really makes me fucking sad. Like, when I was sitting there doing the research on it, like, it changed my whole, because the way I was even going to come at this topic, like, it changed my whole view on it, because I'm just like, yo. Like, I know what my thing with it is, it's like, first of all, I know with black women, abortion doesn't come easy for us. It doesn't come, I don't think it comes easy for anyone. Well, I mean, when I say it doesn't come easy, I mean, black accessibility, women, right. accessibility right. for us to have abortions. Most of the time, black women don't get abortions because one, they either can't afford it, right? 
Two, because in our society, it's looked down upon. Like, you're supposed to have your baby. you supposed to, it's against our religion. You're supposed to have your baby. You're supposed to take care of that baby. That's your baby. Like, what do you look like not having, having a baby? Having a child. Having mm -hmm. a child. So, and I always, for that alone makes it different. I think that's why it also puts black women up there higher. The pinnacle. Right. Because with a white woman, it's like, they don't have the pressure that, that we had. If ever, a man, never, ever. If a man tells them they don't want the baby, they really, I'm not saying all of them, but the majority of them, they don't have a family of aunties that's going to say, this is against our religion. Right. Or they're not in a position where they can't afford it. Right. For the most part, they're able, them getting an abortion is just... It's, it's very accessible. It's very... They live in a, in a place where they can get it. They have the insurance to either cover it or they have the funds to cover it. Right. Not saying that white women don't get murdered by their partners. Oh, they do. Because they're, they do. But black, black women, women are disproportionately murdered by their partners due to unplanned One pregnancy. Unwanted. And, and, and it's you unwanted know what? pregnancy. And you know what? Like, let's take race out of it and listen to most of the podcasts that we, we listen to. It don't even be unplanned pregnancies. Right. Some of these pregnancies be planned. Be with married men. No. Like we married. And you didn't and the nigga you didn't know the man that you was with was cheating on you. Right. Look at Lacey. Right. It's a lie. It's a lie. You didn't know the man that you was with was cheating on you the whole time and he don't want a baby because right. he's planning to leave you right. for his mistress. But he ain't never tell you that. So now you pop up with this baby, and he's like, like Bitch, the, you gotta go, you and the baby before y'all before the baby get here. I just want to say, I just want to say to any man out there, like it happened in Atlantic City. I remember, I worked at, I'm telling my age, but I don't give a fuck because bitch, I look good. Um, I was working at Sand. This wow, was, right? Sands don't even exist no more. <laughs> I was, it was the, it was the last year that Sands existed, so I ain't that old. It was their last year. <laughs> it was their last year. That's where I got my dealer's license. Shout out to what was the bar in Sands? I don't know. I ain't never right go in the to middle. the middle. I ain't never go to the bar. I definitely was there. I went. I used Sands to get my dealer's license to, to learn my dealing game. That's the only reason I wasn't into gambling back then. But um, I won't even think I was uh, I, legally. I wasn't even. I wasn't legally a able yeah, to gamble. I wasn't even legally able to. Gamble I worked in a casino it. though. Right. And I hung out there. Right. And they seen me so much that they stopped parting me. I didn't hang out there. I, but I was. Kalina did a lot of shit before social media. Before she was of age, like y'all think I'm the the thing that will always get me. And I know we a little bit off topic. The thing that will always get me that you have trumped me in in life. What? And I don't care how wild everybody thinks I am or was. What place is she about to name? This bitch been in fours. <laughs> and I have never. I have never been in fours. So if she has no me comment. Right? No comment. She has me trumped. No comment. I always, like, with the day you told me that changed my whole, I was like, I always looked at Kalina like, just the perfect No, Nobody, nobody Nobody's wifey. She stays in the house. She's the wifey. She, if y'all know what Fuller's is, y'all know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know, you know that, that she was wild. She was wild. A little bit. Oh, just, just. I need to find me as that. Man, listen. <laughs> I done fucking lost my train of thought. I don't even know what we were talking about. But that. listen, we here now, and <laughs> I think we got one more statistic on it. Uh, my last statistic, oh, statistic is researchers from Harvard TH School of Public Health Sources, but and it says that from 2009 to 2019, 68 percent of the pregnancy-related homicide involved firearms. Right, women getting killed by guns. They pregnant and power. I mean, one of the most famous cases that I can think about is Ray Carew. Who's that? He know. TJ know who Ray Carew is. Oh, he had somebody pay 
to kill his fucking baby mom. Oh, the, she, the, the, the NBA, the, uh, yes. the NFL. Player. And now the, the, the son lived, but he has it's, some yeah. type of condition. Yeah, he, but he, but you know what? That motherfucker graduated college. Right. And guess where this nigga is at? Where? Still in jail. No, he got out. He just Who? recently Ray got Carruth? out. Yes, he just recently got Google out. Google that. I'm, I'm I Google watched a pod. I watched a pod. I listened to a podcast. I ain't never was... heard shit about Ray Carruth yeah. after that. Yeah, he. I just listened to a podcast, a recent podcast, and he recently just got out. That's one of the he biggest. Has so much promise too. That was one of the yeah. biggest cases that yeah. I, I, I've what ever I heard about. That what I wanted to say was he paid a hitman. Right. The, the a terrible, terrible one at that. <laughs> You All of y'all it. niggas got called. There's two things I want to say before we close out. Uh, mental health is very important. Especially in the black and Latino community where y'all think that it's taboo. Right. You, yeah, you, you got to talk to somebody. I understand that having a child is a real huge responsibility because I think about it all the time. I, I recently... Recently, I was just talking to somebody. I was talking to a dude, and he was like, "Damn, you ain't had no kids." And I'm like, "Yeah, I don't got no kids." And he like, "No slip ups, no nothing, no, don't have no kids." I said, "But honestly, I I be thinking sometimes, could I mentally and emotionally keep a child alive? <laughs> Hand because I don't think y'all get it. Because every day you're trying to keep this motherfucker alive. If I could just like emotionally handle." For a woman, it's very different when we right. talk about emotions. Right. Because your body has carried something right. for nine months. Right. Then it's ejected right. from your body. Right. So something that your body has gotten used to for nine months, that's almost a year. Right. And it's... But a, sometimes people do go for ten months. Right. And it's ejected from your body. And it's a whole nother soul. So it's so much emotions that go into that. And a level of attachment. Right, a level of attachment. So, whew, attachment. That's a whole nother fucking subject. A whole nother topic. So, for women, it's very different. You can't even put it on the same level as a man. But as a man, I understand where you could be scared. Because now you have to be responsible for a whole other human being. And it's way past 18. It's for the rest of that your life. That shit never fucking right. ends, bro. Like, if you think that it ends at 18, you're mad wild. It never ends. You're it, mad fucking wild in your head. It never ends. And, and legally, with the court system, if they decide to go to college, they don't end until they like 26. Right. So... With that being said, I understand where it becomes scary. I understand where you have this rage because you're asking this woman to not have this child because you can't handle it. And you're thinking in your mind, I can't handle it. I have dreams. I want to do this. I want to do that. Brother, seek counsel. Please. Because it's no way you're going to get away with murder. The chances of you... Bruh, the, 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 listen... The longer that time goes on, the harder it is. For you. No, seriously. The I harder it is for you to laugh. get away with any type of crime. Right. Like, I don't even mean to laugh. Like, this is a serious topic. Like that way in the 50s, not, in the 2000s. not even. Listen, niggas that did crimes in the 50s is getting caught right now. Right now. Yeah, true. true. Right. True. But right. still a lot of time out. Like, it don't matter. It don't matter. No, no, what I mean is, is this. It's still not worth it, especially nowadays, to, to be murdered. Because they're going to they gonna get you. Right. Like, everything would have to fail for you to. You would have to be space. somewhere where there's no fucking cameras, which is a camera on every fucking corner almost. Niggas can track you from the time that you leave your house to the time you get to your destination. Committing a crime nowadays is hard as fuck. You have to have bad cops at play. Right. <laughs> and you got to be in a corrupt ass fucking area. Right. right, right. right. So my advice would be seek counseling. If you've talked to her and she still wants to have a baby, now it's time to just seek counseling and to figure out how you want to do it. How you can proceed. Right. How you want to act accordingly. Right. Because the worst thing to do is, first of all, end up in prison for the rest of your life. Because what the fuck is that? Because you ain't want to pay child support. Like, booty band after that. Because I never get no more pussy. Because I have definitely, I just recently watched a Listen to a podcast where a man did that. He killed his baby mom because he did not. A black guy 
kill his baby mom. Because I listened to this one podcast where they only discuss black women being killed. That's what I was just saying to you earlier. I was like, I don't know if it's because I listen to true crime that's black. Right. That I'm only hearing about black women. And I'm going I'm to shout out a few of these podcasts um, next tomorrow because there are podcasts that are dedicated to black and brown people right. to make our stories pop. Because right. that's what, we don't get half the coverage yes. or attention or searches done or attention to what has actually happened to us. Right. So... I and I literally have just, like two weeks ago. I listened to a podcast where a guy he killed his baby mama. Now he's spending the rest of his life in prison because he didn't want to pay child support. And it's just like, like nigga, that's why child support's hard, but they that it hard. ain't that fucking hard. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't so you want fuck you want being in, locked up with niggas for the rest of your life, right? But go on. Thank y'all for tuning in tonight. We appreciate y'all. We love we y'all. We appreciate y'all. Moral of the story is. Talk stop up. no stop fucking bitches that y'all don't want to have babies by because it's always a possibility it's always a possibility that a bitch get pregnant i don't i don't even think i don't even think it has anything to do with i don't want to have a baby by this bitch it's i don't want to have a baby period right because niggas was married and had kids and still you know they wanted that kid they just didn't know that if shit didn't work out, this bitch was gonna be well, fucking girls retarded. On the hook too. Girls on the hook too, because you know that one will put their A bitch will trap a nigga too. Well, we but well, we said that. We said that earlier on. We 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 attacked the women. We never, we never, if you really think about it. Right, we never. We never address the men. Make sure y'all wearing condoms. Too. Make sure if you really don't wanna have a baby, you watching, you putting the condom on. Right. You watching right. what she do. You gotta have her in every bag that you get. You gotta, you, you gotta walk car. around with them condoms yeah. on you. And you gotta tell, you gotta have an understanding with her. You gotta sit down and talk to her like, listen, if we do, if the condom does break, or we do have a night where this we This is what we're not doing. We're not having a child. And if that bitch tell you, I, you know, I don't care. I don't do abortion. Then we next, well, how about this one? You not, don't have sex with that bitch. Period. I don't care if she do the lens spin, she do the golf golf three thousand, none of that. Well, we know both people are unstable emotionally. So what's that? That's that's, that's, that's <laughs> what. <laughs> what? Why she do the lens spin? It's over. It's over. <laughs> it's a wrap, so it's all. Over. We appreciate <laughs> y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Thank we hope you to see y'all next week. Strap up. Use B condoms. It's a black owned. Condom brand, you can find it in Target, you can find it in Walmart, I believe Target. I know for sure you can find it in Walmart, especially if you live in Atlanta. Get you some black owned condoms, they were one of our sponsors. Make sure you get you a condom, strap up. Safe sex is the best sex. Ooh, it feels so comfortable there. We love it there. We love it there. Sight, sight sometimes. <laughs>